Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are out in Kentucky and checking out some road cuts along the AA Highway. Uh, I think it's State Route 9. I already found this nice little piece with some uh, cute little crinoids and some other shell hash in it. Um, it should be lots of Ordovician aged rocks in here today. We got a couple little crinoid stems. Super tiny little pieces. So I want to come out. And uh, yeah, we're going to check it out here today. Maybe head up to another couple other spots after this and uh, see what we can find. So the rocks that we're hunting today are from the Ordovician age. They uh, are older than dinosaurs. This was back when this area, and we're in uh, northern Kentucky, almost by Cincinnati, um, back when this area was all a shallow inland sea. So you had all kinds of creatures, lots of what we call brachiopods, which kind of look like modern day seashell creatures, bryozoans, which are like little moss animals, crinoids, which are sea lilies. Here's a, uh, a brachiopod and a bryozoan. Um, Trilobites, which kind of like a horseshoe crab. Um, cephalopods, which are a hard-bodied squid. And uh, lots of other things as well, but those are the main ones. So far I'm seeing lots of bryozoans, some crinoids, some brachiopods. Um, maybe we'll find some corals, but uh, let's uh, look around and see what we can find. This is a neat little piece down here. All these teeny tiny little crinoids. These are my favorite. I love these. They're so level. So each of these little Cheerios that have been one little stem segment of a big long chain that uh, made up the stem of these these uh, sea lilies, these crinoids. A nice small brachiopod fossil. I think I saw another one down here. It's another little guy. I've got another nice little crinoid, or not crinoid, brachiopod. It's a little shell in here. And uh, actually, I see a crinoid stem too. So uh, we have our brachiopod right here. And then our crinoid stem is right over here. So. Smalls, we can take those home with us. I'm trying to be better about taking only small things because I have too many big things. I was taking up too much space. There's another crinoid stem. And a bunch of little, little tiny crinoids in there, little Cheerios. So the actual unit we're in right now is the Copey Formation, or is it Cope Formation? Um, it's mostly shale, as you can tell, but uh, there are chunks of limestone in it as well. It's kind of a mixture of the two, but predominantly shale, as opposed to some of the other Ordovician units that are predominantly limestone. And uh, shale kind of erodes away to this kind of muddy clay. So, a little sticky here, but that means we might have more fossils that have eroded out because it's a softer rock. That's a cute little crinoids in that one, too. Ooh. Oh, nice. Another one of these, finding a lot of these uh, segments in here. Of brachiopods in it in here. Kind of a neat piece. I'll leave it behind though. I am taking my little seg stem segment though. This is a kind of a weird piece. It's like a 
I'm guessing it's the internal mold from a clam, but it might just be some sort of concretion. But it's in the limestone, like there's a brachiopod up there. I'm gonna take that with me just because I'm intrigued. I wanna know what it is. What it is. Well, I can't talk. Here's a, another piece with lots of really teeny tiny little crinoids and other shell hash in it. I like these tiny ones. They're so cute. There's just so much life and it's all so little. Here's another with lots of little smalls in it. Super neat piece. We got lots of little shell hash in here. A little uh, trilobite fragment. A bunch of little trilobite fragments actually. So these are either, either molts or pieces of trilobites that had uh, broken up, up um, and kind of moved around by wave action and then deposited. Probably, they were probably molts to begin with, but I don't think any of those are full pieces. Uh, lots of bryzoans, which are those moss animals. And some more bryzoans, but muddier. I can stay there. Lots of little crinoids in the sky. I like the ones with the little flowers on them. They're so cool. So much little detail. They're all just a little bit different, like snowflakes. So I keep finding these smooth, round pieces that are in the stuff. And I think they're some sort of concretion. They're not like heavy, so they're iron concretions, but uh, they're like forming within the limestone as like, as if they had formed first or like, I'm not really sure. I've never found these in, in a similar formation before, but I might take this one home and cut it open and try to crack it open just to see what's going on. But uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just nothing. This is kind of an interesting looking piece with the orange on it. I don't know what's going on there. There's too much mud to tell. Oh well. Oh. Oh. A little shell hash and stuff in there. So I think I found a horn coral. It's not in the best shape. It's kind of buried in there. But uh, basically that's a solitary coral. It doesn't form in colonies the way that uh, like your coral reefs do. But it also has a whole bunch of uh, crinoid stems in here and some bryozoan branches as well. So uh, kind of a neat piece, lots going on. That might be either a sponge or another type of bryozoan. I'm not sure, I have to look it up. But uh, I'll take the piece home, clean it up to see what we got. I found another crinoid stem that I lost that I think it was this one. There it is. That's kind of neat. Um, let's see what else is up here. Here's a, another crinoid stem. I don't know how much detail on that one. Alright, let's see if he's still got a lot going on in. Hello, little spider. How are you today? I'm just gonna pick up this rock that's above you. I don't know where the spider went. I hope he didn't jump on me. Oh, panic! <laughs> but uh, lots of neat crinoids in that one. I like this piece. I think I'm gonna keep it. I don't know why, because I don't need it. I should probably leave it. Eh, I'll put it in the garden or something. There's another one of these 
round kind of concretion guys. Very intrigued by these. Throw it in there just, just in case there's something. So yeah, nice little, little brachiopod. He's so cute. in here. That's not even exciting. Alright. Stem. And then a tiny little brachiopod. He's so little. Another one of these rocks. This one kind of has a, a thing in it. Watch these be absolutely nothing. And I'm like thinking I'm onto something. Got another little teeny crinoid stem. And another. And another. And another down here. Ooh, and another. A bunch of them. This weird shaped guy. Just another one of those weird possible concretion rocks. I'm done picking those up. Little brachiopod. One of those is this. Uh, I was hoping that was a trilobite. I don't think it is. The Brizo ones and that guy. Um, let's see. Looks like just shell hash. So, Brizo ones, brachiopods, whatever else, just bits and pieces. I'd like to find some cephalopod chunks. But I don't know if I'm gonna find those here today. But I got some other spots to go to. I, uh, I think I might call it quits for this spot at least and keep heading down the road and uh I'll make that a different video so uh keeping keep tuned for that I'm gonna see what else this road has to offer <laughs>